Blaine, folks, how are you doing in, in the land of grills? Super excited today, folks. The Rectech Bullseye, the new Rectech Bullseye, this is the one that gets to 1,000 degrees, folks. This thing has got a fantastic PID, Wi-Fi looks. I love that front shelf. A lot of things going on. I have been looking for an update to the grill grade on there. You got something that gets that hot. And, uh, you know, I appreciate Rectech giving you a stainless steel grate, but come on. Cast iron or steel, that's what we're looking for. So I've been searching around for a while and I wanted to get the right thing. So one day I'm on Facebook and all of a sudden this ad pops up for, and I'm gonna show you this, for this thing right there. And it's uh, American made, Minnesota. I love Minnesota, I'm a Wisconsin guy, I love Minnesota. And uh, this thing is seven gauge. You're saying, well, Tom, I don't understand. What, what is seven gauge? Wanna well, see how thick seven gauge is? That's how thick stainless steel is. <laughs> this, uh, the steel is not stainless steel. It's, it's just regular carbon steel, folks. And it is, uh, I can't wait to start cooking on it. I'm going to show you where I got it from. I'm going to leave the link down below. A company called Outfitters Edge. I think they're kind of new on the internet because I can't find them anywhere. But all I could find them was right there. And uh, we're going to do a little bit of seasoning. And then, you know what I've got? i got some of my Chuck Guy steak that I'm going to sear on here on the Rectech. Oh, man, this is going to be the perfect marriage, the perfect combination right here. Let's get started. All right, we'll take a look at it online. And, and that's where I found it, uh, shopofay.com. And uh, the one I got actually went through Etsy. Uh, and uh, not, not a big fan of that, but maybe the Shopify will give you a more direct. And I think I... I, 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 I I went in the old Google machine and put Outfitters Edge in there, and it says they're working on their web page. So hopefully, they, and they're they're making this for a 22 inch kettle. Actually, they have it for an 18 inch kettle too, a couple of bucks cheaper. But the, I bet you they have no idea that someone's going to put this on a pellet grill. 77 bucks, free shipping. Made in the USA, folks. Seven gauge. Look at that. That's pretty cool. So I'll, I'll leave all these links down below, and they they've got a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, See if we just take a quick look here. They sell some rubs, uh, got some cutting boards. They have some grill grate here. They, they, they put the same thing over an adjustable grate over the fire, and they got all sorts of other stuff too. I'm gonna waste your time here, but they they make this uh, ice house RV camping skillet. Uh, so you know they're in Minnesota there, hey. So they've got a, a large diamond a steel steel target. Oh, if you're a shooter, that'd be great for that. A lot of stuff going on here, folks. Let's season it. Let's make some steak. All right, let's take a look. See, we did 30 minutes at 350 and I got a little bored, so I turned up the full. Full is 1,000. We're at 940 right now. <clears throat> let's see. Got my thermal here. For the outside of the grill. 212 on the outside. Let's see what that plate is right there. Oh, man. You can see that orange down there. So 750s, not hundreds. We're ready to sear some steak here, folks. Uh, we, we, <laughs> let's let's just sear some steak. I think this thing's pretty cool. There's our chuck roast steak. I should just call them chuck roast ribeyes. I'll tell you what, pretty awesome. And then, uh, yeah, got this all-purpose black garlic seasoning for fire and water. I'll leave a link down below to that. Let's get them on the Yeah, wash the plate. It's been two minutes. Yeah, that's probably long. Oh, there you go. Looks good. Look at that. Pretty cool. Keep them going. I just wanted to show you. I don't know if that's the grease or what, but uh, 991. That's pretty impressive. That's where you get it from, folks. Uh, don't forget about that. And don't forget about my buddy Darren. Fire and water is all-purpose black garlic seasoning. Oh, I love that smell. It is just... They got a coffee one that's just Outstanding. Let's uh, just see how we did here. Nine hundred. <laughs> it, it was you saw it yourself. Nine ninety. Take a little, little. Oh man, look at that. So what would you call that? Rare, medium rare. Call that pretty rare. No. So there it is. I'll eat some of this. The rest of it I'm going to cube up. That'll be breakfast in the morning. Oh, man, going to be so good. Tom Horse from YouTube, Ch check it out. If you got a Weber 22-inch or if you got any of one of the Rectech Bullseyes, that uh, griddle grill, 
steel from Outfitters will fit on there perfectly, folks. Tom Horst, my YouTube. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up. And as always, I can't say it enough. I appreciate you watching.